Today on Pro Church Daily, we're sharing seven free graphic design resources for churches. Well, hey there, and welcome to Pro Church Daily, the show where in 10 minutes or less, you'll get your daily dose of tips and tactics to help your church share the message of Jesus while we navigate the biggest communication shift that we've seen in the last 500 years. Woo! I'm your host, Alex Mills, joined as always by the hype man, it's Brady Shearer, and today we're talking about seven free graphic design tools for churches. If you want to create graphics quickly, easily, and affordably, so affordably you won't have to spend a dime, right. this episode of Pro Church Daily is for you. We've got seven free graphic design tools that we use, have mm-hmm. used, and recommend, so let's dive right in. The yep. very first tool, Canva.com. Yeah. Canva is an online graphics creation and editing interface that is 100% free to use. Now, like most products, they have an actual paid version as well. It's called Canva for Work. It's $10 a month. What's amazing about Canva for Work is that it's also free if you are a nonprofit, churches included. You can apply for that and you can get it absolutely free as well. What's great about Canva is, especially with the Canva for Work edition, is that you can upload your brand colors and you can basically create this brand style guide within the interface. So if you have multiple different people that are using the platform, they can log in and choose from pre-selected colors that fit with the brand, logos are already uploaded, and That way, you can keep visual consistency across the board as much as possible, even when you are using the platform with different people in the church. Maybe people that aren't even that skilled already with graphic design. Canva is perfect for that. It's really a graphic creation an editing interface for those that aren't skilled with graphic design. Whereas a Photoshop might be more for an advanced user, Sketch definitely for a more pro user, Canva anyone can use. It's pretty ridiculous how powerful this tool is and how intuitive it is, like you said, for someone who maybe doesn't even know where to begin, but for making uh, graphics for social media posts, for Instagram, for Facebook, Canva is, I mean, it's your church. If you're not using it, you need to be using it. It's, It's great. The second tool on our list, very similar to Canva, is Adobe Spark. And Adobe Spark is essentially Adobe's spin on Canva. They have a mobile app, as does Canva. They have a tablet version, and they also have an online version, very similar to Canva, in that you can create graphics, especially for social, digital delivery, quickly, easily, without too much existing skill. Yeah, and I haven't had a chance to get my hands on this, but I've looked at it a little bit. But being part of um, you know, the Adobe suite, you can rest assured that this is gonna be a really great uh, product for you. And, and like you said, perfect for churches. The third tool on the list is Dribble, And I used this tool just this week to get graphic design inspiration. So we had a meeting with our product team the other day and basically the, the action step they left me with was, Brady, we need to start creating a mood board for this new yeah. project. We need inspiration. What type of resources are inspiring you and, and, and what should influence the direction of this creative project. We need to know what you're thinking. Get it outside of the abstract that's in your head, like here's what I'm thinking, oh it's hard to like explain it. Give us some examples of what you like and we can kind of mix that all together, create a mood board and then use that to drive our decisions when mm-hmm. we get into the design phase of this project. So I went to Dribble with three B's, D-R-I-B-B-B-L-E.com. <laughs> And I started searching for, you know, uh, designers that I already know and love, other examples of designers that have done creative projects like this one before. And I basically just started copying the links and pasting them into our Trello card where we had this mood board that was kind of uh, growing as I added resources. And this is where I go again and again to get inspiration. The best designers in the world gather here. It's completely free to see the portfolio and see what others are up to. And it's great for getting inspiration when you feel stuck or when you need to kind of communicate these very difficult ideas to put into words, Mm -hmm. really the best way to communicate them is through other visuals. This is my go-to resource. Awesome. Number four, The Noun Project. A curious name. The Noun Project is an amazing free resource for iconography. Okay. So, for instance, if you were creating a social media post that was promoting your Twitter account, and maybe you wanted to post it on Instagram because you wanted to cross-promote your platforms, a great way to grow. Post on your Instagram account a link to your Twitter handle and say follow us, something like that. You can go to the Noun Project and you can search Twitter and you can download a Twitter icon directly oh, from there and then you could put that into your post. And of course, it's not just logos. They have uh, every type of icon that you could possibly want. So let's say you wanted a church icon and, and you found one with a cool steeple outline. You yeah. download that and use that. Iconography is a great way to elevate your graphic design skill and polish really with 
like custom illustrations, but yep. they're not custom because you downloaded them for free on the Now Project. Yeah, and they're fun. You can use them as buttons on your website too. You know, you can use an icon, assign a link to it. So instead of you know using text as a hyperlink that says click here, all of a sudden you've got an icon that's that's you can take an action there, and it's it's fun. Perfect. Number five, coolers.com. I love this one. Basically, the word colors with two O's with the first O. So C O O L O R S. <laughs> right. Dot C O? I think it's dot C O. I think it might be dot I O. Dot I O? Maybe. I think you're wrong. Okay. I don't think it's dot com. Coolers, <laughs> C O O L O R S in Google, and that will direct you to the correct URL. Yes. I just looked right at you and I said, I think you're wrong. <laughs> I, I probably am. Stone cold. <laughs> What's amazing about Coolers. Yes. Not the name. There's no way that's how it's pronounced either. <laughs> We're surely butchering it. it. Maybe it's colors, but like it just is stylized right. differently. But I like coolers, mm -hmm. with that emphasis, is that it's a free tool to generate beautiful color palettes. Oh, I love this so much. I'm just such a color theory yeah. nerd. What's amazing about this is you can take a hex code, yeah. a six digit color code, hashtag FFF, FFF, right. which would be white. Zero, 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 right. which would be black. And there you go. And then every single unique color has its own six digit code. What you can do is you can go into coolers and put in this six digit hex code, click generate, mm -hmm. and it will create an entire color palette based on your original color. And if you want to go completely freestyle, you can just generate without a pre-existing color code and it will generate color palettes for you on the fly that are stunning. This was helpful for our church when we were doing a bit of a rebrand, designing a new uh, church website. We had one strong brand mm. color. It's kind of like this teal color, uh, but I knew I needed some secondary colors um, to, to fill out our palette. And so I went to coolers. I put in our hex code for our strong brand color. It gave me a color palette. It generated this color palette that I fell in love with immediately, put that right into our style guide. And now we have secondary colors and some text colors that I would have never known could have gone with this teal color uh, but coolers did it for me and did it for free so free graphic design tool number six everyone's favorite unsplash yes. unsplash is the absolute best free resource that I know about when it comes to free stock photography yeah. now it goes without saying don't go to unsplash and then find a picture of someone's face and then plaster it on your website right. but if you want to find a beautiful photo of a goat standing <laughs> in a green field go for it yeah or a beautiful photo of uh, urban landscape, kind of cityscape short sort of look, go for that. What's amazing about um, uh, Unsplash is that even though there are tens of thousands of photos and now they have a search feature which makes finding the perfect photo amazing, they do have a certain level of quality that you must reach to get your photo on that site. Right. A lot of the times these free sites where anyone could submit a photo are not that helpful because most of the photos are trash. Yeah. Whereas Unsplash, hashtag Canadians who put the site together, Make sure that if you're going to get your uh, your photo posted on the site, it's going to have to measure up to a certain level of quality so you know that any photo you find on this site will not only be free, but high quality as well. Yeah, and we've talked about it before. Google Images is not a free stock photo site. You can't search what you're looking for on Google Images, right click, save as, and use that photo. Don't be a thief. But you know, as a church who maybe can't afford to, to hire a photographer or buy stock photos, you say, okay, if I can't use Google Images, where can I get these photos? Unsplash is the place. Like you said, their, their, their standard, their, their quality standard is very high, and it's all free. The photos are really good and really usable. Final graphic design tool that is free, Instagram Stories. Hmm. The Instagram Stories interface has so many features within yeah. it now that I often find myself going in there to edit a photo that I then post elsewhere, right. Facebook, Twitter. It's just easier to jump into the Gram Stories interface. I made a list of all the things that you can do with the photo editor within the stories interface. You can add text, you can add GIFs, you can make a poll, you can add graphics, you can add the temperature, you can add the time, the location, you can shoot a normal photo, a boomerang photo, a focus photo, which now allows you to blur out the background yep. even without that's crazy. portrait it's mode. Crazy. And that's brand new. They're always adding new stuff. Yeah. You can do a super zoom video, a rewind video, a hands-free video, a stop motion video. A lot of those are video slash GIF capabilities, <laughs> but the number of pure photo and image editing yeah that the Instagram Stories interface will allow you to use is one of the reasons I go to it again and again. And there you have it, seven free graphic design tools that your church can leverage and use, icons, photos, and everything in between. That'll do it for today's episode of Pro Church Daily. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching today's episode of Pro Church Daily. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you never miss another video. And if you like this video, come on, why don't you go ahead and like it?
We'll see you in another one. <laughs>